Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. You see him, my guy, Ryo. Ryo came in with an ice cold Sonics jersey to work out, doggy. What's good, Ryo, bro? Chilling, man. You know, I just got to camp. It's my third day here. Um, I feel good. Good, man. You look good. You look happy. You walked in, man. I just, your face just seemed to light up when you hit the gym, bro. What do you love about this atmosphere? Uh, just all these great fighters being in here, you know, and staying in camp with them, it's all mo it motivates me, you know? Uh, everybody's super hungry, super humble. My boy Samurai right here, he next coming up. So, uh, yeah, you know, just happy. Man, one thing that I can say, bro, that's that I've seen that's real fun about this gym is, one, it's filled with dudes that are for real. Uh, and number two, uh, the competitiveness. And then the third thing that I've noticed, man, is the camaraderie, bro. Like, you guys seem to be giving it all you have because out of respect for each other. Yep. Is that kind of what it yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, everybody in here is solid. Whoever you get in there with is going to be solid work. Ain't no faking it around here. So, you know, it doesn't... You know, it forces everybody to improve, and you know, that's what we're here for. Ryo, big fights this past weekend, man. PBC uh, blew the doors off of Amazon Prime, man. Yes, shout out to PBC, shout out to PBC. and the guys out, out there. Game, man. Uh, go. Put in some work. What do you think about the fights, man? Let's start off. Uh, Pulitzer Cesar Martinez uh, defending his straps, uh, dropping his opponent two times, and probably what almost it would have been the fight of the night had we not had the last two. I can't, um, I can't speak on that. I was running home late. I got there right when it ended, so you know I didn't get a chance to fully watch that fight. But you know I heard it was a great fight. Um, but as far as Pitbull and um, the main Rolly event, Rolly and Pitbull, bro, what do you think about that fight? It was a good. It was a great fight. You know, stylistically, it, you know, it, it matched up uh, well for Pitbull, and you know, uh, you guys saw what happened. What do you think about? Roly Romero. Roly went out like a G, bro. Uh, even though he did fall in defeat, um, fought hard, never hit the deck. What does that say about the kind of character that Roly? I think Romero is? I think it shows like he really, you know, he worked hard for that fight, um, and, and and he didn't get dropped. You know, the, the ref stopped it, but you know, Pitbull's just a he's just a beast, and you gotta have a lot in the you know in your pot in the back pocket to you know hit him with, and and just you gotta be tricky with him because. You know, he comes, comes at you hard and, and strong. Pitbull, now 140-pound uh, WBA champion, uh, look to get big fights coming up. What do you think he ranks with the other champions at 140? Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, and, of course, Gabriel Matias. Pitbull, Pitbull's up there. You know, he's up there with all of them guys. Pitbull look, look tremendous. Um, they got to they gotta talk about him, everybody, you know. Uh, the, the Haney's, the Matias, the Ophimos, all those guys are, are big fights for, for Pitbull. Yesterday I was talking to Robert Garcia and he told me, bro, he said that the Pitbull Cruz, Sabriel Matias fight is actually kind of scary when you think about it because of the styles. Uh, it, could, it, it, could, it could end with both guys in the hospital. What do you think about that? I mean, you know, that's what we, this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We know what we signed up for. Um, I think it's a hell of a fight. I think they should make that fight happen, too. Main event, Tim Zhu versus uh, Sebastian the Tower in Inferno of Pandora, yep. uh, who was burning like the Olympic torch during the fight. Tell me what you thought about the fight. Huge cuts sustained by Tim Zhu. Um, I mean, it was a super entertaining fight. Um, the, all the bleeding, you know. Uh, personally, they maybe should have stopped it. Um, but you know, the fans got their money's worth and, and they fought, they showed a lot of heart. They, they fought their ass off and I tip my hat off to both of those guys. Ryo, it's rematch time, bro. Yeah, that's it's what it's- It's rematch time. That's what it's looking like. It's rematch time. Talk to us about how hungry you are for the rematch. Uh, uh, forgive me, uh, dude's name, it just escapes me real Edwin. quick. Edwin. Edwin, right. Um, tell no, me, nothing tell me nothing is official you yet, you know, okay. but- but we, hopefully that you know I, I can get that fight. Um, I'm very very excited. I'm very motivated. You know I got to camp early. Edwin De La Santo. Yep. Edwin. Right. I, I got to camp early so I can be you know fully prepared for this fight and I'm just I'm just happy and I'm um, I'm ready. Dog, I'm looking. My boy looks like you already kind of on weight here, fella. You're already looking like you already looking like you in shape, right, old doggy? Ryo already is, you, so, you, so you coming in just to work on the boxing skills and that's it. Everything, man. You know, I want to I I get better in everything, you know, picking up from all these guys, 
Jose Ramirez. Working Virgil, with that, Virgil. That popping sound behind me is Virgil Ortiz Jr. You just got to take my word for it. Yep. So, you know, just wanted to get better. Cool, bro. Well, this is Marcus with Fight Hub. Hey, I'll let you get back to what you're doing, my guy. Always a pleasure to see my boy, Ryo. Go to work, doggy. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.